Hello everyone, it's Jasmine and today I will give you a quick tour of the Yongin Folk Village. If you are living outside of Seoul and want to learn about Korean culture with an interactive experience, stay tuned to see what wonderful things the Yongin Folk Village can offer. I recommend you head over to the Korean Folk Museum first to learn a little bit about Korean history and its traditional customs. Here you will see the table settings, Korean holiday customs, and look at traditional clothing. There's also a cute miniature farm display. Next, let's head over to see traditional Korean houses. There are various houses you can explore as they all differ from region to region and social class. If you're with a friend or a significant other and they haven't been very nice to you, send them over to the courthouse where they will receive a harsh punishment from the mean judge. In reality, the judge is very nice and he will take pictures with you. Before you head over to see a traditional Korean wedding, don't forget to say hi to the donkey. I named her Lucy. Once you arrive at the wedding, have a seat and enjoy the beautiful ceremony. Once the wedding is over, take a stroll through the nobleman's mansion before heading over to make some traditional Korean toys. Let out the artistic side of you and enjoy making various toys with your friends and try them out. In my case, I wasn't very good at it, so the assistants helped me make the toys. And by the way, it was in English. You probably walked a couple hours exploring the village, so we have saved the best for last. Enjoy the various amusement rides the Folk Village has to offer. I'd like to point out that if you have a weak stomach, some rides might not be for you. I made the mistake in underestimating what I thought was a kid's ride and had the fright of my life. If you'd like to visit Youngin Folk Village, the address is on the video as well as the prices for the tickets. I hope to see footage from your trip to Youngin Folk Village soon. Bye bye!